we back at it again, man. Hey, happy Halloween. You know what's up? If you aren't following me on IG, I'd really appreciate it if you did. At the real try freeze and join the Discord, man. Nitro giveaways, cash giveaways, beat battles, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, without further ado, let's go and hop into the sample. Man. All right, so this sample had like some Mike Dean vibes. So the very first thing we got in here was just this key slash pad thing. I did render this out to a WAV file right here by going to this button down here, the drop down, this recording, and then render to WAV files because Analog Lab kept on trying to declare World War III. So before I rendered it out, I just had an EQ to just filter it like that right there. And then I rendered it out. I turned off this EQ and then added another EQ. Suppress some harsher frequencies, so to say. So yeah, the original pattern was this right here. Super, super simple. Let me just delete this right here. All it is is just a minor chord right here, and then just another minor chord right here with the D sharp taken down to a D. A C minor suspended chord. Pasted this over right here. Removed this. Extended it like that. I pasted all this over right here, and then took this root note down here and pitched it to G. And then I just inverted it by just turning up the middle notes an octave. So yeah, this was a barrel organ preset from the Trapped in the Desert Analog Lab Bank by my guy Prod. HZE, he's a god at this stuff, man. All right, so the next thing we had in here was this pluck. I also rendered this out again, and Arturia just doesn't like me for some reason. So yeah, the original pattern for that was this right here. I used the last night preset from the same trap in the desert bank. So in a nutshell, all I had here was the same minor chords right here that I had in the keys. I literally did the exact same thing with those and I pitched those up right here. And then after that, I just added like this G right here and then it's G sharp. Dang. And then I just added these two bass notes on here. So yeah, after that, I rendered that out right here and I just basically chopped it up. So I took this right here and I moved it right here to create like some more tempo. And then right here, I just reversed it. And yeah, so yeah, the next thing I had in here was the dope synthy bass. And you guessed it, I also rendered this one out. So yeah, the original pattern for that was this right here. It was the drastic behavior preset from analog colors by my guy prop by jack man if y'all don't have analog colors by now y'all need to go get it it might not even still be available but it'd be worth a shot to try and go cop so yeah super dope bass man so with all my samples i add like some kind of ambience and noises and stuff like that because it just adds to like the texture of the sample overall and for that i use good old nexus 2 man i never did get nexus 3 but i went to the halloween expansion and i found this cool little like hologram type thing bro and i thought that was so dope So after that, I like this hit, which was a bell. Halloween expansion, it was the dark bell preset right here. We'll see, yeah, after that, I just had these vocals, man. That was the haunting pedals from Distant Voices and Arcade. I just kind of cut the low end out. Venus. So if you got anything from this tutorial, let me know what it was. Don't forget to join the Discord. It's actually super crazy in there, man. See ya, till next time.